afternoon, YouTubers. Thanks for joining to uh, Granny's Vids again. I've picked up my uh, scan gauge today from my mechanic. It's a big thing, a big case. It's got everything here. It's got the adapters to go into the ODB port um, for anything from Chrysler, Kia, Toyota, Daewoo, Honda, everything. Uh, this is the uh, unit here. It's quite big. You can see how big it is compared to my hand here. And uh, this is the bit that plugs into my ODB port, or whatever you call it. Um, so I'm going to do some uh, diagnostics on my car, and just to see uh, how it goes. It's called a um, Launch X431GX3. And uh, on the screen here, when it's plugged into the car, it gives me all my readouts. It's engine temperature, oxygen levels. Etc. So that should be fun to use. I've never used one of these before, so I haven't got a clue how to use it, but I'm going to teach myself. There's a printer on here to print out results as well, which apparently doesn't work anymore, but there you go. Yeah, a new toy to play with for a week. I got it for a week on loan. Okay, I've um, plugged it in, and it's um, uses the power from the battery of the car. The lights have come on, and let's press the power button. Apparently, you have to have the ignition on for it to recognise the uh, car. Let's put it in the keys ignition. Uh, so, the ignition's on. The slicing system, please wait. Let's turn it around, shall we? There's a touchscreen screen. So, press start. I'll go into, I think it was GAG, GADG scan. So I think now what you do, you have to select the car you got. This thing apparently goes up to uh, 1999 models and press start. Uh, we got all the different cars here. Um, we want Chrysler. Who's uh, down again? Where's Chrysler? D -d 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 -d. Mm -hmm. Let's just find this one a minute. Okay, I found the um, uh, vehicle spec I needed to find. I've just gone into my um, ECU now. Just telling, the, telling me the car details, really. Um, lots of things on this that you can do. Um, press OK. It's communicating now with the ECU. Um, ECU information. Let's go back. And we want to have. We've got all this sort of stuff on there. Let's read some of this. Okay, now going into the engine power control module. Press on that. It's got all lights down here. Obviously, reading from the ECU now. Initializing. I take it it's gathering all the information it needs from the ECU now. Let's pause it whilst we're waiting for that to do that. Oh, it's been fun getting this to work, but I think I've mastered a little bit now. But this stand here is my um, uh, one of one, which is the um, mainstream tops, the uh, O2 sensor levels. It's just saying whether it's sensor, low or high O2 output readings. Currently it's reading low and high and so on oxygen levels. Which is what I'll be looking at when I put my hydrogen unit in this. Map voltage, again I showed you that before my map on my uh, multimeter. Map vacuum, um, pressure, engine coolant as well. That's what I'm going to be interested in looking at when I run the hydrogen. So, um, just parked up at the moment, the engine running 78 degrees and the um, battery temperature. I don't know why I said that one for, but that's not very for reference to what I want to look at now. So, as you can see, it's um, the scan gauge is pretty good. Really handy when I put my um, uh, hydrogen in there. Okay, I'm going to drive a bit more now. Back to you in a minute. Okay, this is my map output, which is what I'll be adjusting, obviously. Um, this is going from 0 volts to 3 volts. And currently, it's obviously high pressure because I'm at standstill idle at the moment. So the um, voltage is very, very low, as you can see there. Things up slightly less there for some reason. So yeah, between 0 and 1 1 volt is is normal for a car ticking over my 
of my car I've got. So I'm going to pull away now. And you'll see that that will climb. Let's put my foot down. Excuse the um, shadows here, but okay. You see how the the voltage increased there for letting more fuel in the um, injectors. Put my fuel foot down again, and as you can see, as I put my take my foot off the pedal a bit, there to slow down, the voltage of the uh, sensor goes down because the vacuum is higher. This is a really cool little tool. This is. Okay, this is my oxygen sensor, one of one, which is the upstream sensor, going from 0 to 8 volts, wait, 900 or 800 volts. So now it's scanning between top, bottom, high, low, high, low, and it's obviously the reading between is where we want to be, four and a half volts for um, storage, storage geometric. Um, readings, so I'm going to put my foot down now and travel forward. Now, so I suppose when I put the oxygen, the uh, hydrogen uh, on, on the vehicle, if it is picking up extra oxygen, this graph should tell me. So let's just pull over here. I'm sorry about the shakiness of the camera driving with holding the. Oh. Okay, so I just stopped. Um, as you can see, got some low points here, which means it's. Uh, I think now, low voltage means it's um, running rich. It needs to run rich. So, uh, yeah, that's a good little uh, one there. And this screen is showing my engine coolant temperature in volts. It says just over 2 volts, um, which means it's obviously happy at 2 volts for coolant. Graphic 2, you can see again, and digital output, so 1.47 volts. I'd like to see that actually in the. Uh, can save these things as well, actually. Save. Cancel actually, I don't want to say that yet. Back. This little tool is um, just amazing what you can do with it. Okay. So you've got all these things on here engine coolant, uh, some things I don't even understand. So I won't go into them. Barometric pressure, that'd be in the map sensor, wouldn't it? So go into that. Yeah, gives you pressure readings as well, parametric pressure. Let's see. Can't get graphic on it though. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What else do we have to look at? Oh, ECU information. Turn this way around. Yep, yeah, that's sense. So I'm pretty new to this thing by the way, I'm just playing around with it at the moment. Data stream. I'd like to see my miles per gallon. Well I've got miles per gallon up on here. Oh, by the way, that's what whilst I'm talking about actually, I'll show you what my miles per gallon is. Uh, the last um twenty nine miles, um let's have a look. Uh twelve point three average miles per gallon. I'll get this against petrol soon actually. Um so yeah, I've uh, done some. That's the average amount around town. By the way.